All right. So today I'm going to be speaking about social media marketing and how it can affect a business. Uh, social media marketing refers to the process of gaining traffic or attention through the use of social media sites. Things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of these are something that we probably use on a daily basis. Uh, when done effectively, social media can create new customers while retaining uh, original customers. One of the biggest points of social media is that brand loyalty or customer retention. Uh, customer retention uh, is important because on average, a retained customer has a seven to 10 time increase in value over gaining a new customer. Uh, whereas new customers are often five to seven times more expensive to gain than retaining a customer. So this is huge for a business because while you're growing, you can still maintain that, that uh, income base while expanding. Uh, one of the benefits, another benefit is the decreased marketing cost of social media marketing. Uh, this is huge because the cost per impression for social media uh, per 1,000 unique followers or viewers is $2.50, whereas like a traditional marketing, like uh, a mailer or something along those lines, is around $50 for the cost per impression for 1,000 people. So for $5, I can reach 2,000 unique people that are better suited for a business versus the $50 where it just kind of is a mass mailer. So you can see there, um, especially how it would be more beneficial to use social media marketing. Um, like I said, the three main points that I had were it can increase business, uh, increases brand loyalty amongst uh, your business, and then the decreased marketing costs. Any questions? Um, I'm looking at going into marketing, some kind of just study in that area. And then uh, the social media thing is something that I've gotten a little bit of experience with of late. I started taking photos at uh, car meets and things like that, and then just getting exposure that way with my own little personal page. So. That's, good. That's a good plan. Um, actually, having any kind of a portfolio online is good. You'll find that when you do job interviews, before you show up, your interviewer will look online and try to find any of your work. You can also submit a portfolio when you're getting started, especially if you don't have any uh, job experience in your field. 